So Kian's in the shower right now and I did a little surprise for her when she comes out. <laughs> What's up guys, good Sunday morning to you. As has been the regular routine, uh, it is weigh in day. So I did actually weigh myself in at my place uh, earlier this morning and I have that number but we'll see if it's the same because I have had something to drink and put stuff in me so it might be up a little bit from what it was when I first woke up this morning but we'll weigh in now and we'll see. Oh heck no. We are not. That's like four pounds up. This is weird. Okay, so I don't know what was up with that, um, but when I woke up and I weighed myself this morning, I was 192.2. And I don't know what we what, what I was last week. Uh, hang on, let me check real quick. 192.2 is what I weighed in, in this morning, which I think was a couple pounds, three or four pounds less than uh, what I was last week. So. There you go, we're kind of starting to get it down. Uh, and like I said, just like last week, um, within my body I feel leaner. Uh, things are, are kind of starting to become not as stressful as they were in the beginning, so strength is increasing, so that is a good thing. So, Kian's in the shower right now, and I did a little surprise for her when she comes out. So I made her bed, and then I did this on her blanket that she has, check it out. Aww. It's the little things. She's gonna get out of the shower, she's gonna see that, and it's gonna start her day off right. The little things. Good morning, guys. I am just getting ready for work, and when I got out of the shower, I saw this. Trevor didn't only make my bed, but he also left me this message. <laughs> oh my goodness. Honestly, you guys, it's the little things. It's the little things. And so Keon just texted me. Okay, you guys, it is now two days later since the last clip. Trevor and I didn't vlog very much yesterday because um, both of us actually had to work. Right now, actually, I'm about to head to work, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly. I did my nails. What do you think about my Pepto nails? There you go. You kind of see it better now. So I am just going to get something to eat before work and look what I find in the fridge. What is this? Let's see what it says. It says, have a great day, baby. Love your man. <laughs> He's so sweet. He, he made me a burrito to bring to work for lunch. Seriously, you guys, I need to step up my game. <laughs> That's what he always makes me feel like I need to do. <laughs> I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. The little things do matter and they mean a lot to me. You honestly don't have to do big gestures. You don't have to spend a lot. You don't have to, you know, do anything super crazy to make your loved one happy. And Trevor does that for me all the time. And honestly, oftentimes he makes me feel like you know, I don't deserve him. I feel like he's too good for me, but that is a good sign. That is a sign that he is for me. He is right for me. And anyways, I'm gonna start talking now. By the way, you guys, super random update, but it's been officially a week since I've been off of daily medication. That's insane. Sorry, you got blurry there. All right, so I'm home from work and Trevor's just making me some mac and cheese. And it's just one of those box, you know, KD mac and cheese. But the reason why I prefer him to do it because he doesn't follow the box instructions and I do. And since I do, it tastes different and I actually don't like it that way. And whatever he does because he doesn't follow the instructions, whatever, the me whatever method he does works because it tastes good. It's so much better. So that's what I'm having him do right now. Okay, you guys, my mac and cheese is on its way. I can hear him. <laughs> There's my mac and cheese. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. Looks so good. That was disgusting. Uh, Babe, it's been yeah. so long since we've been in the same vlog together. Has it? Yeah. What? It's really been a long time. To them, it, it was just, it just happened last vlog. Seconds. You guys, I was making fun of Trevor because I like his, I like it for him, I would like for him to wear his toque like this. 
um, to the Americans watching, it's beanie or whatever. It's Canadians call it toque. It's a toque. But Trevor wears it like this. Like I don't wear it like, like that. Like I can't not, I can't even see his eyes. No eyebrows or not nothing. He's like this. No, it's he's not. like gangster, no. like insane. So and I'm like, can you be normal and like you know, so let us let us see your face, please. So exaggerated. I'm serious. You're like Is this. Exaggerative a word? What? Exaggerative. No, exaggerated. Jeez. You're well, the white no. person in this relationship. You should know what well, to say. You're exaggerative. That's not a word. I think it is. That's not a word. By the way, you guys, how do you guys eat your mac and cheese? Because this guy eats it with um, ketchup, and I find it kind of gross, but to each their own. And pepper. Ketchup yeah. and a little bit of pepper. Sometimes, though, I'll eat it with a little bit of salsa, which is good, too. You're so weird. Or you I'll put, just eat it plain you, sometimes. You eat everything with salsa, first of all. It's and good. when Trevor was young, when he was a little kid, he would eat... Um, Ketchup with everything, <laughs> everything, including things like soup. I put it in soup. I put Ew. it if we had like vegetables. If my mom gave us like peas or corn, uh -huh. I'd have, I'd put some ketchup on my peas. And that I, is that nasty. And I wouldn't eat broccoli unless it had cheese sauce on it. That is. Oh, I mean, that's good. I know. I never put ketchup, ketchup on my broccoli. on everything is disgusting. I didn't put ketchup on my broccoli, but I did put it on my. I remember I put it on my corn and I put it on my peas and stuff like that. It actually is kind of gross so now weird. when I think about it. But when I was a kid, I ate it up. Just like when I was a kid, I used to eat fat off the pork chop. Like hey, I just eat the fat. That's me. I would. I would, I would eat fat like. I it's know. my job. You're worse than me. But you still eat the fat, though. That's the thing. No. I've grown out of it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Just like I grew out of the ketchup phase. I mean, you still put ketchup on a lot of things right now. like. But, like, things you... that ketchup are supposed to go on, like fries. I guess. But you know what? Like I don't like the way you put ketchup on your poutine. No, fries. See, so fries and gravy is what you're talking about. Like I know, but I, I just, I prefer yeah, I poutine by itself. And... Yeah, ketchup and gravy is good too. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Just a ketchup and mayo with your fries is good too. Yeah. I don't know if I should vlog myself. I like your face. <laughs> but yeah, when I was a kid, I would eat fat like there's no tomorrow. I there's actually so have you seen baby photos of me like holding on to fat and just i'm at a family party and i don't have my shirt on and here i am little chubby kian just walking around this party with fat in her hand and like just so much grease all over me but anyways i would be so particular if my nanny would be cooking us a meal i would watch her and if she gets rid of the fat i get mad at her i'm like no you gotta cook with the fat you know but yeah see what are you doing it's not like this though no That's but still you're, you're being exaggerated babe you're you're doing that now because i'm putting you it's on blush <laughs> But still, I want to see some eyebrows. Like, come on. Look at this, you guys. Like, it's what is up? Bad. Okay, it's you don't have to make it like Justin Bieber where it's barely hanging on. <laughs> like that. Like JB. It's like, it doesn't even... Oh my gosh, your ears are so red. I like know, it's Chon. Because, it's because... So the reason why I'm wearing a toque is because I'm cold. I'm freezing tonight. So I like I'm wearing a toque to keep all the heat in, and obviously it's working because like my ears are like. But you're, man. you know what? Your ears are always red. They're warm, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, told you it's working. Yeah. It's working, and you're trying to talk smack about. No, I'm not saying you can still, keep, you know, keep your ears warm. I just want to see your face. I don't want the heat to escape from my eyebrows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We have been actually quite busy this week, right? Like, I've been working more than I normally do, which is good. I'm not complaining. But Trevor and I haven't really had much quality time together this past week at all, really. Because our schedule just doesn't work. Like, he he works Monday to Friday, 7 to 4. And then, you know, I work basically whenever until 8 o'clock at night um, during the week. So... Do you miss me? Always. Whatever. Yeah, we don't get to spend a lot of time. But absence makes the heart grow fonder, right, honey? Um. Or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'd prefer to just see you all the time. Mm. 
Just close your eyes and you'll see me. I disagree. You still look like a condom. How? How does it look like a condom? See, I think that... <laughs> okay, I don't know, but basically I... There. Now I look like a condom. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so Trevor apparently is gonna present something to me. <laughs> he is he was working on a financial plan for us. And so he's getting ready. He's getting his presentation ready. Yes. <laughs> and then maybe, because it's gonna I I think it makes sense. <laughs> Which hold on, okay. by the way, before he did this, I had to beg him to share this with me because he said he wasn't going to share it with me because he said that he already knows I'm going to oppose. <laughs> I feel for, I feel pretty strongly that you're going to oppose to it, but that's the power of a good salesman is because they make you... Not when you look like a condom. I can't take you seriously. <laughs> Trojan man. Um, no, I think it, it makes sense. So anyway... Um, we're going to go to the ultimate authority, the word of God. And it says, and I quote, <laughs> in Proverbs, which is the book of wisdom, it oh, says, hold up. it got blurry, blurry this is what happens when we talk about the Bible. Even the devil is, is getting he's into trying, the, he's trying to make it stop. <laughs> stop. Don't tell him the truth. Okay. Go. Okay. Proverbs 22, seven. The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is servant or slave to the lender. And in Romans 13, 8, it says, Owe no one or no man anything. So, we've established that we should not be in debt, basically, is what that what that. Okay, stands. well, I really didn't need you to tell me that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's okay. common sense. So... Let me do my presentation first, because I don't need them to see my presentation. All right, because it could be lengthy, and we don't. So want we're this gonna to keep. Boring. We're gonna keep this presentation private. Uh, yes, because it's got personal financial numbers in there. Okay. So I don't think. Um, I don't think that is wise. I, hold on. Oh, I have to. I have to prepare myself to listen to this boring presentation. It might be boring. I don't know. Okay. See you guys later. <laughs> the one who didn't believe in me. So Trevor just finished his presentation. And how did I do? Because he said that I'm going to oppose, which is really funny. How did it make... <laughs> Tell them how it started. <laughs> and... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We have 16 months until we get married. And that's all I said. It says, uh, I'm like, so we have 16 months. And she's like, babe. <laughs> and it was like a babe, like... Like, no, <laughs> like, like I, no, whatever I, you're going to say, no, uh, no, babe. So it was funny because he was like, I barely got to my presentation. <laughs> I just, I barely started and you're already opposing. The meat of my presentation hadn't even been presented yet. <laughs> I mean, I'm just bringing the plate to the table pretty much if you want to use the metaphor of food. Oh my and God. before I even set the plate on the table, she's like, well, no, no, take it away, right? Well, it's done now, and you did a great job, and after hearing his idea, I'm not actually opposed to it, which is kind of sad that you would think I'd be opposed to it. I just, Why? I was just... Because you don't think I would support you? It's No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that I didn't think you'd support me. I, I, I thought you would support me. I just didn't think that you would necessarily see it from the perspective or the angle mm -hmm. that I was coming in at. Okay. And then, you know, because I started thinking things in a, Anyways, in a different way. You guys don't understand what we're talking about. You don't. Because it was a private conversation. We may or may not share it. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. Yeah. But all in all, good communication. <laughs> did I do well? You did well. <laughs> you did. You did well. Man. It was good. You know what? It makes... I We're going to we're gonna be a good couple, man. We're, we're going to be... We're not a good couple. No, yes, like, like I mean, I mean, in in areas of of serious business, you know. I, it's, yeah, he really had to present this to me, you guys. I spent. Wait, a, but it's good. Like, it's good to be talking money, and this is lots of money that we're talking about, big chunks of money that is involved in this conversation, and we're not even married yet, and we're the these are just you know 
one proof to show that we are very serious about having a future together. Mm -hmm. It's our money. It's not mine and yours. So right, it's our. Goals. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> I uh, clapped when he finished his uh, when he finished his presentation. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Okay. <laughs> condom all right so that's the end of the vlog i know this vlog again is still kind of somewhat boring we haven't done much but talk to the camera nowadays but it is what it is thank you for watching like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time